What if I told you there's a police department that is so corrupt that the FBI set up a hotline so that citizens could give them tips because so many officers from that department has been indicted in the past two months that their corruption is augmented almost like you augment body parts in cyberpunk. And so that's going to be the theme of the video. Two more East Cleveland police officers were indicted today on multiple charges. So that means nine former officers with the department have been indicted in total. Gentlemen, you're all fired. And we can start with the East Cleveland police chief whose name is Scott Gardner, who was indicted back in August of this year on several charges. The latest concern leading to distrust of leadership in the city. But East Cleveland doesn't need, we don't need that controversy. And we don't need that, those, those kind of choices in terms of who's running the police department and other departments throughout the city. Well, he's not wrong. And these charges date back to 2013. So he is facing a significant amount of time behind bars. And the reason is that this man failed to pay more than $150,000 in taxes. And then on top of that, he is also accused of stealing between $7,500 and $150,000 from the city of East Cleveland. And get this, the Fraternal Order of Police Lodge 39, which means that the police is stealing from the police. Stop it. How do you do that? Now that is truly exceptional. And Chief Gardner is being accused of one count of aggravated theft, one count of grand theft, one count of theft in office, one count of telecommunications fraud, one count of tampering with records, two counts of passing bad checks, and six counts relating to alleged violations of the Ohio tax code. Right to jail, right away. And the chief wasn't the only one that was charged because we have former East Cleveland police officers Alfonso Cole and Willie Warner Sims who were both charged with theft and DeMarco Johnson who was indicted for bribery tampering with records and insurance fraud and Von Harris who was charged with the same offenses and then current East Cleveland police officers Kyle Wood, Tyler Munson, Brian Stoll and Daniel Toomer were all charged with at least one count of either theft in office, tampering with evidence, assault, interfering with civil rights, dereliction of duty, obstructing justice, tampering with records, and disrupting public service. And so in conclusion, I'd like to say, well, ACAP. That's all you can really say about a story like this. It's business as usual. 